Bloodborne. Not not that I think think you have any insight, but don't you think it's insane? Like there's Sony, you know, PlayStation. There's been no real word of, especially with the rise in popularity of Souls games. Yeah. There's no real word of a remake, remaster, sequel, especially like. So my my best guess. Um, so from from my understanding of the the timeline was you know. Miyazaki didn't want to do Dark Souls 2. Instead, he wanted to do Bloodborne. Mm-hmm. And so he broke off and he did that. But I know traditionally he's he wants to innovate. You know, like we saw Demon Souls. PlayStation owned the IP, so he went off. He made Dark Souls 1, changed a bunch of stuff around. Didn't want to do 2, so the the side team did that with Bandai. He did Bloodborne, decided, all right, let me come back. We'll do one more with Dark Souls 3. And then he went on to do... Sekiro, and then he innovated again. We got open world with Elden Ring. So I think it's more that they just don't really want to continue that world. He wants to do uh, another, you know, a new world, a new area. Mm. Um, PlayStation not doing anything with it, that's a little trickier because, I mean, they, at the bare minimum, they could have released a a PS5 updated version with 60 FPS. Um, The fact that they haven't makes me guess that they're, they're probably doing a, a full-on remaster like Blue Point, something similar to the, the Demon Souls remake that came out, because I don't mm-hmm. see why else they would. You know, there's no other reason to sit on it unless they're doing a remake. I know some people think uh, Blue Point is going to take it and do like a Bloodborne 2. Uh, I don't think that. I think I actually think that would be one of the worst case scenarios. Um, really? And the thing is, a lot, a lot of people, so they look at they look at the new Demon Souls that came out, and they're like, this is awesome. Uh, Blue Point should do Bloodborne 2. But it's a it's a it's a remake of an existing product. And the example I like to use is like, you know, you could go get your car detailed and it comes back and you're like, this looks like a brand new car, it's beautiful, everything is sparkling, the the seats feel like they're they're you know factory fresh, even better than that. But you wouldn't hire the car detailer to build you a car. And so I think it's the same thing with Blue Point. You know, we've we've seen some phenomenal remakes from them, but they're remakes. Yeah. You know, so if Blue Point wanted to do their own original game, I would want to see an original game with their own lore, with their own systems, see what they do, as opposed to just taking Bloodborne and trying to make a sequel. Um, you know, muddling the lore up and whatnot. And I think if it did happen, I think we would see something similar to how Dark Souls 2 got treated as like, you know, the, the, the bastard stepchild in the family. Like, I love Dark Souls mm-hmm. 2, but so many people, yeah. there, there's like this, there's, there's a lot of hate for Dark Souls 2. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people don't want to talk about Dark Souls 2. And I think if, if Blue Point went and made a Bloodborne 2, I think the same thing would happen. People would find a lot of, a lot of little things wrong with it or things mm-hmm. that conflicted with lore in the original and, Oh, this doesn't make this. It wasn't like this in Bloodborne. Why'd they change this? I think there would just be a lot of a lot of bitching. Yeah, I just it's just like, man, you know, PlayStation has so much reach and so much connection in the industry. And there's so many developers that are um, more than from software now that are capable of making a Souls game. And I'm like, it's been like almost 10 years now. And it's like you I feel like you could have gotten somebody to do it other than Miyazaki and from software by now man like because it's it's so highly demanded you just saw Elden Ring sell 20 million copies we yeah. know you like money it's like you you're, you're sitting on cash and like you know you're missing no, yeah, out there's 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 something uh, I think the bigger the biggest thing that's surprising to me is that they haven't moved it to PC yet True. because yeah. Blood, Bloodborne on PC with mm-hmm. the potential for mods there's oh, yeah. there's so the much crazy there. they could they could like that, my my biggest thing. I mean, Bloodborne, honestly, from from a numerical perspective, it's actually um, like I, I. So I only I only do five point scale these days, but I would only put Bloodborne at a four out of five. I think Bloodborne mm-hmm. fans ignore a lot of very obvious problems that Bloodborne had that weren't yeah. exist in other Souls. You know, the the lack of respec. That's mm-hmm. trash. I hate that shit. Let me respect my character. Uh, when Bloodborne launched, you had one plus 10 upgrade mat mm-hmm. one which is ass imagine you play through the whole game oh you get one weapon to max that's it especially in a game where you're supposed to have like a, a primary gun and a primary weapon no pick one that's it 
Yeah. One gets to go out. Everything else stays at plus nine. The Bloodborne, and then the, the the gemming system in Bloodborne was shit. They should have they they could have done like a Diablo esque approach like that. Like, oh, you farmed up three one percent physicals, combine them into a a three percent physical, and then farm up those and keep combining to get your better gems. Uh, legacy dungeons were were trash at launch. Mm. It was just just uh, you know going through the same shit over and over again to get something slightly different. But people don't ever like to talk about the things Bloodborne had wrong. 